It's 1.30 in the morning, for God's sake. It's going to be 4.30 Eastern. Is it Z or Z? Hashtag Sun... Uh, no, ha- hashtag Suns fan. Let's see here. I hashtagged you. Maybe we can get this trending on Twitter. <laughs> I don't understand the whole trending, by the way. What do you mean? The hashtag makes no sense to me. I don't get it. The Suns fan hashtag or no, just, no, just any hashtag? Just in general. Yeah. A- any it hashtag. Makes, it makes no sense to me. So here's the thing with hashtags, okay? You've got... So let's say you're talking about something, right? You're telling a story, someone's really mean, and you hashtag sauerkraut, okay? Okay. That way, anyone else who's talking about people that are sauerkrauts, they have a way to say, hey, we're talking about the same thing. So then you When can has click- that ever connected anybody ever? Well, all the time. Let's just click on a hashtag right now. <laughs> who's all right? hashtag recently? All right. Ha- here, here's right here. Hashtag journey. Okay. Right? You click on the hashtag, then you can see all the other tweets where somebody hashtag journey. Why is that useful at all? Well, for journey, it's useless because who gives a shit about other people's <laughs> journeys? But, for example, if you hashtag DAC2015, as uh-huh. I have been, you can look at all the tweets relevant to 2015. Look, Deacon Frost says delays for years, DAC2015. I, I'm sorry, but this is this is like thousands of people. I It's the power- I see no use in this. Of the web. It's so you can, like, you know, if you I, have an I'm, event, I'm, I'm all the tweets- I'm just an old man, and I cannot adapt to Twitter fully. Well, I, but there are, there are technical things that come along with it as well. You know, if you, for example, if you hashtag- for it, like TI4, right? Hashtag TI4. Mm. You can just filter out. So you ha- they had the boards there where everything was hashtag TI4. It pops up on the board. That can be a double-edged okay, sword because all you got to do is take a picture of your dick and then hashtag <laughs> TI4 and it shows up on the board. But <laughs> you can still do oh, cool stuff I'm like gonna that. I'm going to try that next time. That sounds good. <laughs> right, I, mean, no, I understand from that perspective. It's just, eh, whatever. I mean, in general, Twitter's dumb. There's, well, I mean, So it's- like going into the beginnings of Twitter, Twitter, I'm like, this is the most useless thing ever. I, I said the same thing. It has grown on me. I'm not going to lie. It's actually quite nice. Don't pick your nose. We're on Twitter. I mean, <laughs> camera. We're on Twitter? <laughs> We're on Twitter and on camera. Yeah. Well, another pause coming out, of course. All right. So they're saying they're waiting for the admins, and the admins will be the one to resume if they do resume. Ninja Boogie is about to blow a gasket. So <laughs> <laughs> they're not they're not happy at all. Yeah. All well, right. you can't blame This is definitely a game they want to win um, to secure top eight status, which they're currently in right now, I believe. Which who is they? Which team? Uh, the team that doesn't have a negative record, which is Rave. Uh, where's my? Oh, yeah, HGT. They're three. Oh, and actually, five. no. They're they're tied for six with a bunch of teams. Looks like there's a lot of teams that are four. Yeah, so this will put them four. in top eight if if they win. They will be five and four, and yeah, they'll be in like six, depending on how the rest of this round finishes off. So, yeah, it's big game, ruined by big lag. What are you doing? The I'm just looking at how fat. You I'm remember fat. those exercise things? It's like a belt that you put on your belly, and it just yeah, it jiggles. Just works out your abs. Jig- I, I it just jiggles the fat. But does it actually? Does jiggling fat burn it? I don't know that that's actually how. Supposedly it works, works, but very slowly. So you do that for like five hours a day, every day. Now, I don't know why I even speak so confident. I have no idea. <laughs> I just. That's a syndrome of being an old man. Bullshit just comes out of your mouth. <laughs> it's just, it's just automatic. I don't even think about it. It's it just like, flows. And then I have you, no clue. You, like, did I really just say that? I'm, nah. I'm talking with authority about things I, I know nothing about. I don't know what to tell you. It's just. Have you ever worked out ever? Yes, and I hate it. You used to? Did you used to be a gym guy or? No, no, never. I mean, I've. Does your lady work out? Does she hit the gym? She used to, but no, not recently. So you're dragging I, her down, man. I used to be into basketball a lot, as in no playing. Way. <laughs> and I was really good. I scored 52 points in a game once. 52. What was the total score? Like 56. <laughs> I, no, I don't know what the actual score was. 52 points yeah, in 50, a game. Dude, I was a beast. This was seventh grade. The next year, That's I got introduced to Half-Life. And then? And it's done. It's over. Like, I tried out for my eighth grade team. I couldn't even. I quit two days in because it was too tiring. Like the, you know what suicides are? Yeah, it's when you run like the full way and then like a third of the way, then the halfway. And you have to touch. You have to bend down and touch the ground. And it's that is. Those are the those dumbest are, things. Ever. It hurts, man. It hurts, and especially when you're out of shape. You know. Ever since then, I've been. I haven't been fat since then, but <coughs> I. Uh, I feel like they should make high school sports more fun. Because I had that same issue. I, I played soccer. Like, oh, the sports themselves are fun. It's just the people suck. Well, that's what I mean. Like the sport, it's but like the whole experience. Because I played soccer for like. Six years, and I was on like a, a traveling team. You know, it was kind of cool. And like right around the time that we got to high school, like ninth grade, is when the team started slowing down because half the team started playing like you know high school, and it's hard to balance two teams. Then like by tenth grade, it was over, and everybody started smoking cigarettes, and it was done. 
So you got a cigarette smoking high school, huh? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, wasn't too bad. Cigarettes were real cool where I came from, South Jersey. A little, little bit Joy-Z? of that southern flair, dude. Everyone's just into the Marlboro Reds. When I think of New ugh. Jersey, I just think of garbage. <laughs> like literally a garbage can comes to mind. Well, you gotta I've remember, never been there though. North Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> I just assume things. Like North Jersey and South Jersey are very different. It's almost like two different states okay. culture wise because the the north half identifies with New York culture and like New York sports, and then the southern half identifies with Philadelphia culture and Philadelphia sports. So you have these rivalries of like you know there's basketball. Basically every sport imaginable is in Philly and New York. So mm. it creates the the sports teams actually create this weird dichotomy and the cultures and so which side was angry different. when the New Jersey Nets moved to Brooklyn? Uh, no, Neither, no, really no one was it. angry because they were North Jersey and then they moved to oh. New York. So it's just like mm. I don't think anybody maybe maybe somebody I wasn't angry I don't know, but anyway, I I tried playing the the school soccer and it just sucked. Well, Private soccer, soccer sucks. Hey, soccer is awesome, man. You're kicking the ball around, no, you're I rolling around use in the my grass. Hands, man. <laughs> I'm a hands man. All right. Well, I'm a foot football. Football, basketball, even tennis. I like tennis. Yeah, even tennis? Just anything with a ball and hands. <laughs> Any, anything with balls and hands and this guy's into it. <laughs> I like it. All right. Like well, it. Yeah, okay, the, fine. So soccer sucks. Let's yes, we, we, I'll, okay. I'll, I'll I'll whatever. Fine. <laughs> You know, most of the Concession. world disagrees with us, but whatever. I can't. I can't argue with Americans about All soccer. Right. It just doesn't work. You guys well, are plus, too in, dense. Plus, in American high school, it's not fun. It's or terrible. Middle school or anything, it's just not fun. But I, it's like torturous. It's like the coach is just like getting his jollies from torturing young people. I always found that weird. They're just like standing there with the whistle, watching you do suicides. Just like, yeah. Well, that's why the job requirement for a PE teacher is to be a pedophile. Is uh, they it's check just, beforehand just to make sure that you. I like mean. Young children. But what what is the why why do you have to make it terrible? Just like hell they always used to call it hell week. You know, that week before school starts when you gotta mm. bust everybody's ass to get in shape. It's like why not call it fun week? Well, ours, Entice- was, ours was super casual though. Oh, well, they, that's cool. Like they we didn't even have to do anything. It's like jumping jacks, some people just <laughs> sat on the ground and did nothing. <laughs> I'm sure you guys had a good team. Yeah. It was it was pretty bad. Some people just sat there and Well actually we had our football team was state champions. They're really good. What state was it? Arizona. Oh, Arizona, okay. But anyway, right. so my first time being introduced to Half-Life uh, was like the summer of seventh grade or the something like that, right? seventh grade, okay. And that summer, I ate a lot of corn dogs in conjunction with sitting and doing nothing but playing Half-Life. <laughs> so when I get, got to eighth grade, I was actually from skinny to very chubby, like around, like pretty much like I am now, but really? like a 13-year-old self or whatever age that is. And the entire year, I was just this fat mess. And then the next summer, I went on... A Pepsi One diet. A Pepsi. What is the Pepsi One diet? So the Pepsi One diet entails one large meal a day, eat whatever the hell I want, and the rest of the day is just Pepsi One, and it fills me up. Pepsi One, Pepsi One, Pepsi One. Is that a real diet? It's my made-up diet (laughs) that happened to work one time over the summer, So. and I became skinny the next year. But I was still horribly out of shape, and I've been out of shape since you may grade. have lost some fat, but I'm sure your pancreas was not so happy about that. What hey, kind of a meal are we talking? Well, what 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 day time of day was it? Like a lunchtime meal or like a dinner meal? What dinner probably? So you just drank Pepsi for like six hours. Pepsi one. Pepsi Pepsi one. It's what the Pepsi one diet? So what is Pepsi one? Is that like the diet, like but like diet. one calorie? It's yeah, like it's disgusting. No, but it's different from diet Pepsi, right? No, it's really not. No, okay. It's it, essentially it, the same. It's just rebranded as something else. Oh, really? From my understanding. Well. I know Coke has a different history with that. I like how we come full circle back to sodas. <laughs> that's, that's my well, favorite. you know about Diet Coke, right? Coke and Diet Coke are actually completely different drinks. Yeah. And then what is what is the the middle it's one? It's like it Coke the, Zero. Okay. Coke so Coke Zero is actually what Diet Coke should have been. There's just a different kind of sugar, right? It's well, sort of. So this goes aspartame or yeah. Well, it predates aspartame. That's the thing. So like Coke's old, you know. 70s, they wanted to make Diet Coke. And all of the artificial sweeteners, all the shit they tried to make, like the version but without the sugars, tasted like asshole. And they still do. So, well, they taste a little better now. They, they tasted like taste like extra a- donkey asshole back then. So, <laughs> so now they're just horse asshole. Yeah, yeah exactly. It's gotten better. We're, we're making steps. <laughs> so they actually sy- synthesized a completely new drink from scratch mm-hmm. and just tried to make it taste like Coke-ish. Okay. So it's actually a completely different drink, and then they just branded it as Coke and Diet Coke. Mm. So then... You know, technology happened. We've made some new sugars. Technology I don't know what happened. Technology happened. Some shit went down, and they said, hey, we could make a real Diet Coke, our real version, and just, you know, use all this new shit we found. Okay. So we already made Diet Coke, so then they made Coke Zero. So that's the difference between but Diet Coke and Coke disgusting. Zero. Yeah, but it's less disgusting than Diet Coke. 
You I know, guess some I've, people I've prefer Diet Coke now. When they have, have you seen those commercials where like, oh, Coke Zero is just like Coke? I legitimately <laughs> get angry. Legitimately, how can you get they away? They should be with sued lying? for false advertising. They should. It's ridiculous. It's well, it's, I I don't. How do they get away with that? Actually, I don't know. It's they it's just America. figure that you can get away with. I mean, that's true. People just do whatever the hell they want. They get sued and then they just endless court crap and nothing ever. And actually they file happens. bankruptcy and start again. <laughs> it's Coke. They're never going to go bankrupt. Yeah, but you remember? True. Well, this is. I guess you wouldn't remember because it happened in the seventies. I wouldn't remember either. I don't. But <laughs> maybe it was the eighties actually, where Coke the 80s changed crowd. their formula, and it ended up tasting like Pepsi. And people went on like they rioted. I don't remember. And this. that's why Coke. They brought it back as cloak, uh, cloak as Coke Classic. That's Coke why it says Coke Classic. Classic. Really? Yeah, because it was. It, they actually. It wasn't like they kept Coke and they had another one that tasted like Pepsi. They got rid of Coke completely for like Pepsi. a couple weeks, and it was something. It was just rebranded. Just why, normal would, Coke, why would you do like that? Pepsi. I have no idea. Wow, that's that's silly. Yeah. Coke is one of those weird companies that has they have like some weird like pretentious thing where only like four people in their company actually know the complete recipe or something. Really? They have it like yeah, it's a super secret thing. They have it like locked in a vault and it's like only like the CEO, the COO and like two other like people at this have point, access it to even it. Matter anymore. Yeah. If somebody got the formula. Who well, cares? it's it's like the exact proportions, you know, cuz you have to list the ingredients on the can. But I, it's how the, can you Okay. Whole breakdown. How can you not like reverse engineer? I'm pretty what sure the you can. Is. That's I use the word pretentious for a reason. Yeah, it is like the most pretentious thing a company okay. can do. Yeah, but I mean, when you're the biggest brand in the world, when more people know about Coke than the president, then I don't know. You know, Coke could have bought Pepsi back in like the 20s or something like that for like a hundred dollars. I believe that. And they refused, and then Pepsi became huge, and then eventually Pepsi actually was given somehow the recipe for Coke, and they handed it back to Coke. They said. We don't believe in monopolies. <laughs> Look at this face. Will you believe all these Coke <laughs> facts? Oh, my gosh. I don't know why I know so much. <laughs> it's actually so sad. Why do I know all this? I'm sad that I know so much about Diet Coke. Honestly, this is like- <laughs> yeah, I didn't know any of that. I'm sad Diet that this Coke. is a back and forth about <laughs> soda and not just one person. <laughs> you bring the Diet Coke discussion, and I bring the normal Coke. It's fine. It, it evens out over time. That is super You know. Random. Although I think, see, but Pepsi's smart though because having that competition is good. That's like like McDonald's. You know, you know, McDonald's is renowned for their ability to scout locations. That's like one th- as a franchise. That's one thing they're known for in the business world is picking like finding the corners. Where there's yeah, a lot and of traffic. Then they're just super worthless at having a normal. Ugh, don't even get me started. You don't McDonald's. like McDonald's? No, the breakfast should be all day. That's all I like is the breakfast. I don't like the breakfast at all. <laughs> breakfast. breakfast should be all day, like every other fast food place. Well, they have to have more grills. I don't because care they, what they, they clean need. the breakfast grills. I don't give a crap in. about any of that. You you just want breakfast. I, you are you losing a customer on a consistent basis. I am never up at 10 a.m. You know how difficult that is to get up at 10 a.m. to I go actually, get breakfast. I feel that. I can empathize. As a gamer, it's impossible. There are times where I drive at noon and I think I want breakfast right now, and nobody is serving bagels. Why can't I get a bagel? <laughs> Like bagels. Huh? Well, I like bagels with I like a bagel sandwich. Like if I had my like a bagel with a nice bacon, egg, and cheese, and then the bagel on top. Oh God, that's my favorite. It sounds breakfast. like such a New Jersey thing. It is. It's very, very New Jersey. <laughs> go to the, go to the local bagel joint. <laughs> you know what, what's the local bagel joint? It's not Einstein's. The Village Bagel is the one I always used to go to, but that's the, that's a mom and pop. It's just a one off. It's nice. Yeah, cash mom and pops are always cash best, only why. business. It's great. Right, what are the facts we have about soda? <laughs> so, oh my my point though. So McDonald's, right? Known for their their scouting of, mm. of locations. You know what Wendy's policy is? Follow McDonald's. You'll notice. Just put it next to McDonald's. It's it's not random that you often see a Wendy's and a McDonald's near each other in like a strip center. Mm. It's because Wendy's literally follows McDonald's around. That's like their public you know, strategy. That's unfortunate because both are just shit. Well, but I've actually that's the same in my here's city, here's the the full circle irony is McDonald's likes it. They say having that variety makes our customers like McDonald's more because what people do if it's just McDonald's they eat cheeseburgers cheeseburgers and then they get burned out on the cheeseburgers then they go somewhere else and forget about McDonald's but when there's a Wendy's right there it's just you more know, cheeseburgers though just different kinds well but they're square cheeseburgers <laughs> Wendy's gives you the extra you know it's different I feel like if it was an Arby's it would make more sense well for variety I don't know McDonald's claims that having that variety there their customers still eat McDonald's primarily and based on the data they've collected over the years having the Wendy's okay. there people try it and remember, oh, this shit, I like McDonald's better, and then they go right back all to right, Mickey But Pins. I have to say, out of all the fast food burger joints, McDonald's and Wendy's are the bottom two. They I, are the worst. McDonald's is in the bottom. I like Wendy's. What's wrong with Wendy's? It sucks. Well, what's what's your top? Burger King? Carl's Jr. Carl, Carl, okay. Actually, Burger King's on pretty much the bottom, too. They're pretty garbage. 
Um, what do you? What no, Carl's Jr. is top. Okay, Carl's Jr. is top. I can. And I know I you disagree because you guys have probably abused the fact that it's right next to you. But Jack in the Box is also up there for me. I love Jack in the Box. See, I'm not that buttery burger last night, which you didn't get. I don't like anything that has buttery in the. I hate when I see a Red Lobster commercial, and it's just like every. They're just like flaunting the butter. Like you it's just live. Like, okay, first Zed. Everything is like butter no, all no, no, over no. it. First Zed, Nilch or whatever the heck you call it, <laughs> <laughs> or Nil. No. And now you don't like butter? I like you butter. You should be deported, even no. though you're American. Get no. the hell I like, out of here. I like butter, but not like... Oh, my that is, God. I don't... It's like when people... If you're American, you'll eat a slab of butter just straight up. Oh That's God. the American way. It's like when you go... Like, you see a beer commercial, and they advertise it as cold. Like, the cold... For a while, was it Coors? Their slogan was, the coldest tasting beer. Okay. Cold is not a flavor. How does something taste cold? What does that have to do with butter? It's the same thing where it's like butter is like I like beer better when it's cold, but the coldness of the beer does not make up for the shit ingredients or the shit quality. It still has to be a good beer for me to want to drink it. The still, coldness don't is just see an the addendum. connection at all. It's coming. You got to be patient here. <laughs> so butter, right? If you've got shrimp that came out of some lobster's asshole, you can put as much butter on it as you want. It's still going to be gross. Right. I don't look at the butter I as can't. like. Oh my God! It's got butter on it. I look at it as right. that's a high quality shrimp, and I would like a little bit of butter I on the high quality. I can't relate to the shrimp. seafood reference. Tell me how this relates to the burger, butter burger. The butter burger again. Buttery is just. It's, you know what? You it's shut your mouth. You're getting it tonight, <laughs> and then we'll get your real all right, opinion. I'll, all right, that's fair enough. I'll try the buttery legit. burger. It was legit. For everybody out there that but likes Jack in the Box, the buttery burgers. The, the buttery biscuit. I haven't even seen them advertise it, but it, yeah, I don't, they're I don't legit. Know. Do, does they're Jack really in the good. Box advertise? I don't think I've ever seen a Jack yeah, in the what? Box commercial. You haven't. We also don't have TV. The, here. the head, the circle head. Okay, look it up now. All no, right, no, no. Google. We're going to There's Google. No way All right, you so haven't seen it. They have the best commercial. Jack in the Box commercial. Uh, this. Oh, this guy. Yeah. The burrito team. It's a, they do a lot of commercials, and they have by far the best ones. Here's a commercial with a bunch of midgets. Yeah. How great. Makes their food look bigger. Oh, they have okay. really good commercials. Do they? Are yeah. they better than GoDaddy? GoDaddy's are the worst. I used to work for GoDaddy actually. What, are you serious? That was also the worst. You used to doing what? What was your tech support? Oh, or not? Well, well that's tech, a fucking yeah. Tech, it was horrible. That's a terrible job. Like I go there for tech support and I have to sell as well, and I'm not a salesman. As you guys <laughs> may or may not know, I am not good at selling because I'm not a liar. I just. <laughs> I'm, very, I'm a very honest person. Guys, I can't be a salesman because well, I do not like, lie. They're like, oh, sell this woman that? a website. She's like 80 years old. She doesn't even know how to turn on her computer, let alone design a website. Well, how, and they want me to sell that crap. That just sounds like a bad lead. Why Why are they connecting you with 80-year-old women that need to make web? How many 80-year-old women need to make websites? They're not connecting me. <laughs> they call for tech support. And then I'm supposed to say, oh, I can fix this. Oh, by the way, you can build some shitty website with geocities.com, <laughs> <laughs> which is the, like, I don't know what it was actually called, but it was horrible, whatever it was, the equivalent you to know, You know, you can torrent the whole geocities, like, yeah, catalog. Yeah. It's like a, a terabyte of geocities. And most people watching probably don't know what geocities is, but that was like the original websites that were, you could build yourself, and they were, even back then, they were awful. They were I mean, just <laughs> what was the point? Tier. You could they, you couldn't even call it a portfolio site. Yeah, it yeah. was just like backgrounds and texts yeah, and some was, weird little gifs. I don't know, guys. We're still paused. Here. If you're wondering why we're just sitting here talking about biscuits, uh, yeah, here you go. We're still paused, so uh, <laughs> we'll get get back into it as soon as we've got an update. I have none. Actually, maybe I should check the Skype group. The update from the admins are uh, well, please. Twenty minutes ago, they said please wait, and there's no not been a further update. So. Um, can I just upload this as Iori Podcast number 61? Because that's basically where we're at right now. Right, next subject. Let's do it. I don't know. What's next, Shannon? We've we've traversed soda, commercials. Oh, I, I want to hear more about GoDaddy, though. I, I mean, is, was oh, it- Oh, God. Okay. Well, so how did you even- What was the interest? I, I, I don't think I would ever even apply to work at GoDaddy. I, um, I, they have a poor reputation for everything, other than making obscene commercials for yeah, the Super Yeah, I- So, I used to be tech support, or just like tech guy, I mean, I used to work do a tech, and tech support. And I, I really didn't like it. On any level, so I'm not sure why I kept doing it, but I was trying to go to like school to get my master's or something like that, and <laughs> or something it, like well, that. Well, in the middle of the first semester, I'm like, you know what, I don't want to do this anymore. That's actually when I got motivated to start doing casting for Han. Actually, that's okay. when it all started. How old but, were you when you first started casting Han? Like 25, 24. Hmm. Trying to do the math in my head of how long ago Han was. I don't even remember when Han came into beta. I don't remember what year it was. I, I know it was you right have when to look that did. up. It, let's just say six months after. The beta came out. 
All right, let's like, see. But that's here. the thing; it was like a closed beta, Heroes. so it wasn't the official beta. Oh, you were in the closed beta? Yeah. Well, closed-ish. Oh yeah, when you can invite all your friends. Let's see yeah. here. Uh, da da da. Uh, here's North was in beta from April 24th, 2009 until May 12th, 2010. Okay, so I was invited probably... Like beginning of 2010? No. Something like that? No, it says April 24th, right? That was when it started, yeah. Yeah, so, so I was invited maybe a couple months after that, so like June or July Okay, of so middle of 2009. So that would put me at... My math is really good. 24? Yes, minus 6 from what you are now, so... <laughs> Okay. Well, 23, 24. So, Itager. Yeah. I remember that guy. Itager, yeah. Itager. You Itager. know what his name is? Like what that bullshit means? Uh, it's Red Jedi. It is. Wow, look at you. You know stuff. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. <gasps> Poor Han. I, I'm, you know, there, there, so there was some review that was posted about MOBA games on some dumpster journalism site, mm. and there was like reviewing all the other MOBAs and it was, you know, just the generic bland shit and the Han one was in there and the Han page quoted it and shared it as like the regarded as the highest skill, most fast paced MOBA. And I'm just like, you're still really trying to sell uh, that whole for fast a while, engine. I thing. would have agreed with that actually. Yeah. I still think the engine is one of the best. But yeah, it's really good. Han people I, I, I don't talk to many of them anymore, but there are still some that are very defensive about like or actually, no, they're aggressive about how slow Dota is and how it feels like they have brain lag because the engine is just no, so dumpster can, slow. It's not the dump. It's it's not the dumpster. It's it's not the engine. It's it's by design actually. And I remember when I was trying to transition to Dota two at first, which was 2011. Mm -hmm. I would say, well, the beta is like I got the beta is like in September. So the transition from so the era of September of 2011 to December, I was struggling. For yeah. my transition. Stroke City. Because Dota did feel like the slowest piece of garbage, and it was. It was awful. Like, turn rates were horrible. Um, there was Lang a lot Lina of... was, there was just, a lot like, of torture. Lag. Yeah. And it Why would you do is. that to yourself? And I remember making a... <laughs> I kind of regret it, actually, but um, Ice Frog asked somebody that then asked me to make a video explaining what I meant. Because you have to understand, they were... It was like a parody from Dota 1. So there wasn't... Right. For people that were switching from Dota 1, it was exactly the same. People from Han to Dota, it was like complete shit. Right. And from right. pretty much any other game, it was complete shit. Okay. So made a video showing the differences of how fast spells were cast, how fast you turn around, how fast... And the main thing is, when you right-click to move, it took like a, a couple split seconds, and then it started moving, as opposed to now, which is pretty much instant. Right. So that was the biggest complaint that I had. And I made the video, and then I posted it publicly. Instead of sending it privately... And well, what, it didn't actually end up being a bad deal, to be honest. No. But like but a week later, you know, Ice Frog took note, dude. Yeah, a so. week later they fixed it, and I mean, there's still. So some we have you to thank for that. Is that what you're telling us? You well, are the reason the engine was sped up. No, it well, sure. No, sure. it Come on, it would have been fixed eventually anyway. But okay, All right. um, sure, fair enough. But yeah, there oh. was a period of time in Han, the first year, like when I got the beta. What, you said it was 2009? Uh, 2009 to 2010, yeah. All right, so that period, the game was amazing. When the game was in beta. It was a great game. When it, yeah, Bubbles, then, Puck was the last hero they ported. No, Beastmaster. Tundra. I vividly remember. I, I would have said I vividly remember, because I remember that- Look the, it up. The guy that did the voice... How do we look this up? Look it up. Last <laughs> hero, all right. <laughs> last <laughs> Dota hero ported to Tundra. <laughs> I've I'm almost positive it was Bubbles. List of... Um, this will be interesting. To find I don't know what, how to... Are we really going to look at form threads from 2009? The fact that his name is Bubbles just... Oh, my God. Well, you know, who does, you know who did the voice of Bubbles? It's the same guy that did the voice of that giant turtle from the NeverEnding Story. That Merla, the aged oh, one the or whatever. Oh, the voice was good? Yeah, the voice yeah, was good. That old weird cock why, why turtle. Why Bubbles, though? I'd rather just Turtle. <laughs> it's just Turtle is better than Bubbles. <laughs> turtle. Turtle. Um, how... There's no dates here. I don't. I actually don't know how to look this up. All right. We'll just assume I'm correct. Um, and if you could on. port one Han hero, who would it be? God, I don't want to talk about that. I have a lot. Well, not a lot. Let's I see. thought it was Puck. Come on, somebody in chat. There's got to be some old Han players in there. Come on, guys, help us out. Um. Okay, I'll admit you bubbles. You have potential. Bubbles to be correct was here, Bubbles was pretty late in the game, though. You got to admit. Yeah, he was up there. Yo, they are shitting on Han. Yeah, we sure are. 
I'm still salty that they fired me. They did? No, they didn't really fire me. That What they did was after I accidentally did my thing, they pressured Garena into dumping my contract. Garena didn't care at all. Oh, I forgot they were a partner with yeah. G Arena. G Arena. I refuse to call it Garena. Garena, whatever, man. I get flames saying it both ways. So they, they didn't really... F- I wasn't even employed by them, but it was that's actually what made it shittier. If I was employed by them and they opted to fire me, that's one thing. That's your prerogative. But they like back-channeled all this stuff and like basically instead of having a dialogue, they kind of just went behind my back and said, dump him, which is just... <laughs> Just rude, man. I don't know. More valuable than that. Joke's on you, S2. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, oh, I wonder man. if they're making profit with like Strife and... Bubbles was after Tundra, says Glacial Drift. Don't believe him. <laughs> don't believe him. Well, either way, the point was, at that point, the game was really good. And then that's the turning point, though. That's when it started to go downhill yeah. slowly. The more S2 heroes they added... Like The, the ones that they the had, for the most part, were really good. And there's a reason for that. Dark Lady... There is a reason there's for that. There's a reason for that. Dark Lady, I think, is one of the best heroes that they made. Like, that ultimate, if they ported it to, to Dota, though, that would be the best ultimate in the game. It's... Yeah. Period. Like, not no question about it. Yeah. It would be completely game-breaking. It's crazy, like, knowing what I know about Dota now, looking back at Han and thinking about all the shit that everyone thought was Dumpster, that in retrospect was actually really good. Like, yeah. Rampage, Bat... It's like, Spirit Breaker with the Bat Rider Ultimate. How did nobody play that shit? It was how did nobody buy four staff on that hero? Because the game was the game was way faster than Dota. That yeah. is that is a fact. That is a fact. And I don't know. Facts are true. But for those wondering what that ultimate is that I was talking about, uh, at first oh. it was even more broken. At first it was you click R, the entire map for the enemy team. So you know how Night Stalker uh, ult limits vision. This one limits vision to literally less than melee range. Yeah, it's or just on melee range essentially, uh, and then they changed it so it's not global. You can cast it globally, but it's a certain section of the map, and I think that would be completely broken in Dota. So, but what's cool about Dark Lady though is the the idea behind her was to take the concept of Phantom Assassin and make it less RNG based. That was the whole idea, oh, like yeah, the she, motivation the, behind Dark the rest Lady. Of her was, yeah. Because they, they looked at Coup de Grasse as like this kind of dumb, like you either two shot somebody or you know you don't get any crits and you die kind of a deal. And at the time, Han was not was trying to get away from RNG and make it a little more skill based. At the time, at the time, yeah. So I thought that was a cool way to do it. And Dark Lady had like you know like a buff that doubled your damage, and made your blade silence, all this kind of stuff. It was just a. a a really cool concept for a hard carry, I thought. Very mobile, and she didn't get a lot of love. But one of the best heroes that S2 made. Chipper was also pretty high up there. Chipper was a cool Chipper hero. was an amazing hero. Chipper was pretty All right, so before cool. people flame even more, which I'm sure it's happening. Oh, yeah. Uh, We're still I, paused, I will guys. say this. For me personally, you can you can back yourself up here. Please. At first, when the transition was over from Han to Dota, you'd be called Han Trash and whatnot, right? Mm-hmm. Um, I played Dota... For four and a half years, before okay. Han, played Han for two years. Now I'm playing Dota 2 for what three years now. Yep. But before all that, was Counter Strike. So if anything, I'm a Counter Strike player. I mean, technically speaking, I've been playing off and on Counter Strike since the year 1999. <laughs> so that that would make 16 years of Counter Strike. Wow. As disgusting as that is to say. That is actually kind of disgusting. The first game that I really got into was Diablo 2, and then Warcraft 3 was my next big game after that. So I, I actually played a lot of Dota. Every, everyone assumes that... Like, I, that's one thing that bugs me when I see people talking shit on the subreddit. It's like, oh, you just jumped from game to game. Just like, dude, I played Dota 1. Come on now. I remember the Demon Witch. You know, I know what he was up to, my man back in the day. <laughs> you know, I played a lot of Lich. I was really bad. I wasn't cast. I wasn't competitive, but I still that played Dota. That was a Demon Witch. Huh? I know. Lich was Kel'Thuzad, dude. Lich King. I always thought it was a woman. The Lich because King was a woman? He wore a robe. He's a magi, it, dude. He's a, it, he's a necromancer. I don't know what it was. I just kept calling him a woman, and it just stuck. So He looks totally different. Uh, is Invoker a woman because he wears robes? No, he's cool. <laughs> no, he's cool. <laughs> he's a sexy blood no, I remember, elf. yeah, Lich, Lich mid, solo, uh, Lion. Mid solo, those were legit back. No, then. We, I had a five man. We had a five man crew. We la- like in in high school and middle school. We would always land on the weekends. So I'd bring nerds, my computer over. Nerd burgers, dude. We were a bunch of nerd burgers. So we would play Vanilla WoW. We would we were Alliance, and we would mm. do SM2 runs, Scarlet Monastery, and Stratholme. Farm those righteous orbs, right? Mm. You know, 
we we do crock runs and Zol Grub. You know, get the get those little bee juice going on. Cue means up, nothing to me. Queue up for a War Song Gulch, thirty minute queue, do a little crock run. We had two mages. I was the warrior, a rogue, and a holy paladin. Perfect five man group. And when we got tired of playing Dota, or jeez, we got tired of playing WoW, we played Dota. each other off. Yeah, we'd circle jerk, then play Dota. <laughs> so here was our strategy: we go. Our best player would always solo top Sand King. We'd we'd always pick Radiant, by the way. We would host a lobby as our five and always pick Radiant. Okay. He would go top Sand King every game and rush a Radiance. And usually get I remember Radiance on Sanky. At least half the kills on our team. He was by far our best player. Mm. Myself and my best friend at the time would go dual mid, boots first, no regen. I played Lich, he played Lena, and we would both rush Aganim Scepters back <laughs> when it was Mystic Staff and Soul Booster. Mystic Staff and Soul Booster was the way to make Ags for a remember, long time. Uh, maybe I kind of remember that. Oh, yeah. It used yeah, to be yeah. a lot more expensive with a much more difficult buildup. Yeah, it used to suck balls. And we were convinced that GG branches. Bracers, any regeneration items, TP scrolls, and couriers were the biggest waste of money imaginable. And why would anybody buy that shit? So because it's, it's boring. Exactly. We just wanted boot. We just wanted to go straight for it. Boots, big boom boom. I want my big laser to do more damage. See, when I first played, well, I played a lot of Warcraft, obviously. But when I switched to Dota two, or not Dota two, when I switched to Dota, or at least tried it out, I played. I think it was Troll Warlord first. Ooh. Like they told me, just pick Troll. Or Venomancer, those are the two. And just build St. Joshua every game. <laughs> so I built St. Joshua, like, I don't know any of the builds. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. And I didn't even feed. I actually played decently well. And uh, St. Joshua hasn't really changed much since then. It's still not that good. Although we're seeing it a lot more lately, I guess. Yeah, any, so... Any updates in the I, I do, actually. It looks like Tongfu C9 is going to be remade. Uh, and they're going to rehost it in five minutes, five minutes ago. Rave HGT, one of the other casters, said, hey, we've been paused for 20 minutes, and the admin says, Rave is having a problem with the game. They are waiting for their manager. I don't know how those things connect. Oh, but it's one of these situations. We, we've we got a situation. Some, it's one of these. Somebody what, call the situation. Kind of players being divas situation. Uh, oh, dude, it. Ninja Boogie is pissed. Yeah, he's he's not happy. That's for sure. Jo's not happy either. I don't think anybody's happy right now. I'm I'm okay. Although I wish I had a Red Bull. I wish I had a I cherry. I wish I had Coke. a cherry Coke too. So yours right, empty? That's finished. Oh no! I can go get some if you want. Can we go grab a couple? Uh, I don't know. Couple what of happens? Cherry Cokes, huh? All right. You know what? what? I'm I do it. Let's 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 All let's right. have some Coke. Some cherry Coke. Right. I'm in. I expect one good question to come from chat, relating right. from you to me. Okay. Or us in general. All right. When I get back. Chat. Okay. We we Mute need me. to boil this down. Mute me. Mute you. So I can put my headset down. Okay, there you go. There you go, sir. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to <laughs> the Phoenix Suns fan. Look at that. Look at all that belly there. Mm. Oh, wait, we're we're going. <laughs> all right, no cherry Coke for you. That was Jesus. Okay. Uh, no. So, that was literally like 45 minutes of Phil. Uh, <laughs> I don't. I don't even remember what was going on in this game. Uh, well, let me there's there's a Medusa. I remember the Warlock a little bit. Okay, here let's hit the F5. Okay. Uh, 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 the Warlock has the Ags now, so he officially picks it up. He'll be going for. <laughs> I love how we just switched to this now. <laughs> it actually feels like this is a separate game. 